A magnificent setting, two great teams. What drama here! It's right for Arsenal. Ian Wright yet again. What a shot! That's what a shot! Not good. Absolute Bobby Dazzler. This week, deodorant makers admit there may be some unforeseen side effects to wearing David Beckham's new body spray. <laughs> <laughs> and at this year's Oscars, there are two surprising new entries in the Best Actor category. <laughs> With Ina Rory this week as a sports presenter who lists her dislikes as war films, scampi and tequila. So she probably won't be coming to our after-show party. A screening of Saving Private Ryan at Captain Bird's Eye's Tequila Hut. It's Susie Perry! <laughs> this week is an England bowler and Ashes hero. Yes. He bowled so well this summer that commentator Jonathan Agnew named his new dog after him. So that's why you'll often see Aggers in the park shouting, here, can't bat. <laughs> <laughs> it's Matthew Hubbard! <laughs> we kick off with the double, where sports personalities are matched with things to which they have a connection. Ian's team, your subject is the secret of my success, and your pair are... Former world's greatest darter, Eric Bristow. And Chelsea midfield dynamo, Frank never misses a game, Lampard. But which one puts their success down to sleep, and who attributes it to their toes? Ian's team. First, can I just say a very big welcome to one of my favourite, favourite, favourite TV personalities, Susie Perry. Susie. She's lovely. Ooh. Yeah, I'm a big fan of yours, and you're my kind of girl. Why? You're alive. <laughs> <laughs> Though I must say, I haven't always been that fussy. <laughs> you're doing the gadget show now, aren't you? When, when does that come out? No. Is it? Yeah. You what? don't watch it, do you, Rob? I don't watch no. it. <laughs> you present the gadget show and your boyfriend's away for four months. And I was just wondering... <laughs> <laughs> what? I was just wondering if you had a favourite gadget. Well, we don't do... <laughs> but listen, no. you're next to a gadget tonight because you're next to the Arsenal goal machine. <laughs> <laughs> The Ronco Righty. <laughs> do you, come, got a new do one, you come with instructions? No, um, I'm very easy to work out. <laughs> Plus, uh, they've got a new improved one. Apparently, speaks French and every <laughs> thing. <so. laughs> so, what are the connections between these two people? Would you say dart is a sport for a start? No. It's not, no. it's not a sport. It's not a sport. Ian, what do you think? Can you say it's not a sport, is it? How can darts be a sport? <laughs> Anything that you can get drunk while playing is not a sport. <laughs> Legally, legitimately, yeah. and true. it won't affect your game. I wanted to be a professional darts player. And what stopped you? I was crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, not a sport. What's your, what's your what constitutes a sport for you? Um, You've got a sweat for a start. You've exactly. Got to break some a sweat. form of exertion. Hmm. Some form of, like, you know. Anything something look, in. If it's a game think? that you can do while on your way from a snug to the toilet, it's not a sport. <laughs> <laughs> if you're exertion. saying exertion and sweat, sex, sex, sex is a sport. But well, I'd rather watch sex than <laughs> kid darts. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see people playing darts while having sex. <laughs> Run a hundred yards up to the dartboard, then through it. They don't. They don't what? Stand there no, like this, Boris. just <laughs> trying to aim at something that there's you know, a meter away, and actually things. Look at that! It's Colin Jackson doing the tango. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't be fat if you're a sportsman. You can't. They're be not all fat. You? Unless you're what? doing Most sumo. You, you can if you're a sumo. Would you, would you marry a darts player, Susie? No. Would you oh. marry a fat man? <laughs> yeah, careful how you answer this, Susie. <laughs> Slightly rotund. Yes. Well right. put. What do you mean, phew? Too late. You've no chance. I love you, Susie. 
<laughs> Hoggy, Hoggy, yes, Warwick loves you too. <laughs> not my type, I'm sorry. He's Why? a little bit too rotund. <laughs> not, not quite hairy. Oh, you, go for, you, go for, you go for skinny blokes, do you? <laughs> <laughs> With blue where eyes, are from, preferably. Where are you from, Richard? Are you Yorkshire, Lancashire? <laughs> and you know what's so depressing is I wore my pulling jacket as well. <laughs> feel like a lemon now. <laughs> and we can have toes and, and sleep. sleep. And yes, sleep. toes and sleep and Lampard and Bristol. Did sleep ever help your performance, Ian, on the football pitch? I, I, rest is an essential thing for, as a footballer. You wouldn't normally associate Frank Lampard with sleep unless you've heard him interviewed. Oh, no. <laughs> you heard else no, what I'm boring. saying is that some footballers, with due respect, shouldn't open their mouths. You okay. support Wolves, don't you? I do support Wolves. So what do you know about football, then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, that's what I like. You but that's still. interesting, because you support Wolves, and Roy was raised by Wolves. <laughs> Are you a big sleeper, Susie? Do you like to sleep? I like sleep. Do you need your eight oh. hours? I like eight hours if I can, yeah. of sleep. Yeah. Yeah. What about yeah. seven hours, 58 minutes? Are you happy with that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I think the last two Rory's minutes... got a plan. The last yeah. two minutes are crucial. <laughs> <laughs> so, come on, what are the connections well, then? I don't think that a darts player has probably ever seen his feet, because you, you can't... <laughs> can you? You can't see you can't below see your it. belly. I don't know. I think it's more likely that the crafty cockney needs his toes to balance when you're sort of springing Being forward or leaning back. Oh, it's probably more used to him than, than Lampard, who of course what? needs to rest like all footballers mm -hmm. in between that 90 yeah. minutes exertion per week they have. Okay. <laughs> I think Eric's got, he's got a funny toes or something. He's, he's got, got an extra toe. He's got extra it's toe. the right answer. Yeah. Oh. Yes, Frank Lampard puts his astonishing form down to the fact that he sleeps all the time, and Eric Bristow reckons his balance is improved by having an extra toe on his right foot. Three points. <laughs> Eric Bristow took his nickname, the Crafty Cockney, from a pub in America. Shame he didn't visit the pub down the road, the six-toed freaking Firkin. <laughs> Frank Lampard claims that when he's not playing football, he likes sleeping. So to all those bus drivers and factory workers who thought that all he did was kick a ball around for 100 grand a week, let's not forget there's more to it than that. <laughs> Boris, Jonathan and Matthew, here's yours. <laughs> Greatest living Englishman, Sir Andrew Freddie Flintoff. <laughs> and curiously quaffered Liverpool Frenchman, Gibral Cissé. But which one was in the news for his parrot? And who's in the news for abusing a magician? Boris is too. We should start, I think, by um, welcoming our guest this week. And what, aren't we lucky? Ever since the Ashes, you know, everyone who plays for England, for cricket, you know, certainly have become a household name. How Phil we are to have Michael Hogwarts here with us on the show. <laughs> Uh, but how was it afterwards? Because really, I mean, the celebrations looked just incredible. Those thousands of people in Trafalgar Square, I turned on, I thought Jim Davison had died or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a big event. What a it must have been a wonderful thing to experience. It was remarkable. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was it great? It was a great experience? It was fantastic. Um, just to see how much the cricket had gripped the nation. Um, I was worried that two men and his dog had turned up to no. Trafalgar Square to, to witness the cricket. It's a bit like darts, not a lot of people think it's a sport, but just the way that people responded to the, the Ashes victory was remarkable. Well, it was incredible. You got a proper cricketing round of applause for that. <laughs> well, I did. I did. <laughs> but it did strike me as being interesting. Had the team thought about winning in the past to get the same effect? Because <laughs> that was really all it took. That's where we've been going yeah, wrong. Yeah. You wound up at number 10, or you started at number 10. How did you get to number 10? Um, I think my memory's quite blurry, but I remember a big red thing. I think it was a bus. So the bus was... took you to number 10? <laughs> yes. I, I thought you so. meant Cherie Blair. <laughs> Ding ding, plenty of room on top. 
Did you get to meet uh, any of the leading lights of our, um, our political leadership? I believe Blair was, was there. He, he greeted you. I do believe Tony um, popped in for a glass of... Uh, believe. Can you remember? Tony, okay. yeah. He popped in from, what did they offer us? The pineapple juice. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you chat too much? Well, we left 10 Downing Street and there was a load of um, photographers and things. And he said, um, what do they want? So I looked at him and went, a photo, you knob. win at cricket more often. <laughs> Thank God you didn't say a photo of you, not. <laughs> OK. Is that going oh, 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 hold on. Oh, hello. For some of the Germans in the audience. Yes, for, exactly. for all of the Germans in the audience. <laughs> I have a very simple question. Yes. OK. What is a knob? Hang on, Joe. Look to your right. Sorry, it's it's a hobby is a ein, uh, ein Schwanz. Schwanz? Schlange. And a Kuckelhorn. And a Schlange. A Lederhosen-Schlange. A Lederhosen-Schlange. A Lederhosen-Schlange, yeah. Yeah. A knob. A knob. Yeah. Okay. Like a cock, but small. <laughs> <laughs> I got it now. I got, I got it now. <laughs> is it good fun being in the team? Is it good fun? You all get on well? Yeah, you, you tend to get on very well if you're living out of everybody's pockets. You, you train together, you go back to the hotel, you're on the same corridor, you leave the doors open, so you get to know people quite intimately. On the bus, say where you're on the bus, who does the worst farts? Um, Steve Harmison has got a very eggy, a great oh, smell. <laughs> well, where else do you get this kind of inside, sporting inside? So Susie's confused now because women don't fart, do they? No. <clears throat> why, is, why is that? They've got gadgets to stop it. Isn't it? <laughs> so what are the connections, please, Boris's team? I have an idea. I mean, I know the French player, Gibril Cissé, has a full body tattoo of all sorts of animals. Does he? What? Have you been looking in the showers again? <laughs> no, but, you know, mm -hmm. every now and then when he scores a goal, which doesn't happen every week, <laughs> he, he takes off his shirt, you know, and you see everything is full of tattoos, you know. He's one of them, possibly an abused magician. <laughs> no, but I think, I think, I think a pet. Of <laughs> no, but I think he has a few animals. Oh, maybe a few. And maybe there's a parrot maybe on top of his arm or on his yeah. chest or something. Doesn't um, Cissé have a pet parrot that has been stolen? Or he ordered a parrot that didn't arrive and it was stolen he off the a parrot. He married a parrot. <laughs> He ordered a Thai bride, as so often happens, she turns up looking nothing like a photograph. It was a Macau. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time that we have with the parrot is in, it was stolen. I went to a magician. Freddie Flintoff yeah. used it. Okay, used, well let's yeah. have a look. Andrew Flintoff made the news when papers claimed he'd thrown eggs at David Blaine when the magician <laughs> was suspended in his glass box. And Gibral Cissé hit the headlines when thieves broke into a pet shop and stole an African grey parrot he'd ordered. Three points. There you go. <laughs> Police say they are keen to hear of any sightings of any old grey bird on Merseyside. <laughs> Me too, said an excited Wayne Rooney. <laughs> After he'd been in there for 44 days, David Blaine got out of his box. And if he saw the Ashes celebrations, so did Freddie Flintoff. <laughs> After singing at many team karaoke's, Freddie Flintoff has hired a singing teacher and there is even talk of a single, which coincidentally is Matthew's highest score for England. <laughs> At the end of that round, Ian's team has three points, Boris's team has three points. Yay. It's the photo fit where three images are combined to make a grotesque one. Ian's team, here's yours. So, who's in there? My first impression is it's someone ugly, <laughs> stupid and Neanderthal. Wayne Rooney. <laughs> <laughs> you can't oh, say that about... Oh, I'm only joking. Wayne Don't Rooney's, take it to heart. Well, I have to. He's our saviour. I love Wayne Rooney. He's fantastic. He's our saviour. What, like Jesus? <laughs> Like, that is a big statement. If we win the World Cup, you'll see exactly you what I'm talking about. You won't win the World Cup, come what? on. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, no. We've got a much better chance of winning the World Absolutely Cup than Germany. Absolutely not. Whoa. We've got yeah. the goalkeeper, we've got the back four, the midfield four, the front two. We've well, got yes, all 11. You have we've 11 got all 11 players. players. That's yeah. correct. You have 11 players. <laughs> we've got five. And, and we've got world-class we players in all of those departments. Players. You would need 15 players. In all of those departments, we've, we, we've got world-class players. Garrett and we beat Germany 5-1 the other day. Yeah. Yeah. 
never ever fails to get a clap. That never ever fails to get a clap. Well, the other day was actually four and a half years ago. That's true. Most of the players <laughs> of that day Morrison. are no longer in the. In well, the I just squad. didn't want to go back to '66. That's all it was. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you know what? There's an ugly tension in the room now. <laughs> oh, hello. Who, who had a nice weekend? <laughs> Right, come on. Lisa, piss off. Boys, <laughs> <laughs> calm down. It looks like Wayne Rooney. Really. It does it's look like really. Wayne Rooney always looks as if he's wearing an old lady support stocking over his head, doesn't he? But where would he get one of those? <laughs> there was a Wayne Rooney doll made, wasn't there? I think a, a little toy. You know, like as this Ken and Barbie. There was <laughs> there was a Wayne doll and a My Little Granny. I think it was called. <laughs> Have you ever had a doll made of you, Ian? Because the footballers have dolls made. Have you ever had a doll made of you? Yeah. Was, it, was it realistic? Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice doll. And it's really weird having a, a, a doll. You see an actual doll of yourself, because yeah. you just want to look at it. I looked at the bum of my doll. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, you looked at your own bum. Was yeah. it peachy? Yeah, it's peachy. Hairless? Yeah, it is peachy. Did he talk through it? <laughs> I don't want to talk about my bum no more because we've been down that road. What's happened? To you? <laughs> <laughs> really I've not been down that road. <laughs> <laughs> so come on, we have to hurry for the answer. So is it Wayne Rooney then? It looks like a. Is that a pizza or something? It is. It I don't know. Like a pizza. I don't know what's going on in the middle, but cartoon Wayne Rooney head. Yeah. Doll, doll face and ears, Wayne Rooney and... Uh, Pizza, I'd, Wayne Rooney. I'd say eyes. Was, OK, let's no, have a look. Pizza. So, the faces we saw there are all images of Wayne Rooney. His hair comes from a do-it-yourself Rooney mask that appeared on the BBC website. The eyes are from a pizza made to advertise Football Italia on the Bravo channel. And the mouth and ears are from a Wayne Rooney doll. Three points. Pizza experts have identified the Wayne Rooney pizza as a Four Seasons. Bravo have just commissioned another to represent Graham Souness' future at Newcastle. The half a season. <laughs> the Wayne Rooney action figure comes with a range of accessories, including a realistic Saga Holidays brochure and a tempting bag of lavender potpourri. <laughs> Boris's team, here's your photo fix. Oh, so who right. are we looking at here? Oh. <laughs> well, Mel C's let herself go, and she? <laughs> But it's often the case, yeah. isn't it? You know, you phone a number, Thanks. and it says on the thing in the phone booth, 19-year-old from Belarus, and it turns up looking like that. <laughs> but those big blue eyes, yeah. You like those the big blue, blue eyes? Very eyes. familiar. Yeah. Come on, then. what do you think, Holly? Mm. I think eyes. another hair. Eyes. Eyes. Let's break it up. Oh. The middle bit, I recognise the eyes. Is that, um, uh, what's his name? Um, Alan Hanson. I think that's a good yeah. idea. It yeah. looks like Hanson's yeah. twinkling blue eyes, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, so then we've got the doming head yeah, and the is, yeah. floppy hair. There's, uh, I've got that one. That's Jason Gillespie's. That's what? one ugly bloke's chin. But I think I know. I hate to say it, because it's one ugly looking mouse. <laughs> but I think it's Lindsay Davenport's mouth. What a horrible thing to say. <laughs> OK, let's have a look. Yes, so we saw there the rock star hair of Aussie oh. fast bowler Jason Gillespie, yeah. the piercing eyes of TV pundit Alan Hansen, and the mouth and chin of world number one tennis player Lindsay Davenport. Three points. Yeah. <laughs> Lindsay Davenport is six foot two inches tall, with massive upper body strength and a weight approaching 15 stone. For many years, she appeared on Question of Sport in her other guise as Bill Beaumont. <laughs> Jason Gillespie was worried he'd be blamed back home in Australia for losing the ashes. In fact, customs officers at Sydney Airport gave him a big hand, each with a rubber glove on it, heavily smeared with Tabasco sauce. <laughs> Alan Hansen appears on Match of the Day late on Saturday nights, sitting between Gary Lineker and Mark Lawrenson. And they say Frank Lampard sleeps a lot. <laughs> and at the end of that round, Ian's team has six points, Forrest's team has six points. Yeah. Time to the teams to put on their blindfolds now and play Field the Sportsman. Uh, Boris and Jonathan, to your places, please. Come on, Boris. Come on, come on, come on, oh, Boris. My come on Boom Boom. <laughs> Somewhere in the world, Mr. Whippy's lying in a ditch. <laughs> okay, blindfolds on. Can we have our first mystery guest, please? <laughs> Cool. Okay, Boris and Jonathan, your time starts now. That's a nice breeze. 
There's a nice breeze. Yeah. I does something. I've got a bit of... It's like a big shoe. <laughs> it's a, it's a one-legged giant with a big oh. shoe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's that? In the bum bum. <laughs> oh, my God. I got some hair. Well, don't boast about it, just because you're not... <laughs> It's a hairy thing. Yeah, it's a... Uh, Jesus, it's a that is hairy. It's almost like a spider. It's a board. I, I got to touch something. It's a board. It's a, it's some it's leg. Like a, it's like a leg a, on a board. It's a leg on a board. Maybe there's room for one on the board. <laughs> hey, uh, Boris, oh, hey, come hey. back. We'll go for a ride, Boris. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's making me yeah. wet. No, I'm you now. It's a board. So Jamie Oliver is out there it's speaking to us. <laughs> it's a guy. Is it? That's disappointing. It's a guy. <laughs> Yep, you're right, it's a guy. He's not packing that much over, I'll tell you. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, it's a surfing that? man. Yeah. It's a surfing man with, a, on, a, on, a, on a flying board, a magical surfer. Yes. Do you know what? I'm going to give you that. It's Aaron Hadlow, two times world champion, kite surfer. <laughs> Thank you, Shern, minus Shern Height. Can I on, please? And can we have our second mystery guest, please? Oh, <laughs> OK, your time starts now. Oh, oh, oh. I can hear a ball. Where are they? That's not. Are you here? Let me just push. Don't push me. Hang on a minute. That's you. Where are. Where what are is happening here? What's going on here? Is that you again? Hey! I've got something here. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I've got something. Yes. Oi! <laughs> Oi, there's ki are there kids here? I'm, gonna, I'm touching. I'm blindfolded and touching. Jesus. I'm not going to get in trouble, am I? Not here. <laughs> <laughs> it's the jockey club. <laughs> hey, it's little children. Me, I can't touch any. Where are they? <laughs> I've got a couple. I've got two kids. Is it? Is it? I'm not letting them go. Green Christmas. Is there any more? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> hey, come it's, here. I've got three. <laughs> Tripping, or is this happening? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I've only seen a play. A little, it's a little football. A little. Hang on. We've got some. I... Right. It's a. It's a. I'm a little, it's a what little... was that? <laughs> you very close. What is going on here? <laughs> it's a little. It's a little England football team. Of... Ah! You know what? I'm actually going to give you that. What is it? It's actually the Great British Dwarf Football Team. <laughs> Dwarf football team who won gold medal at the World Dwarf Games. So, the scores at the end of that round, Ian's team has nine points, Boris's team has nine points. We finished with the named game, uh, the team in front goes first, but it's a draw, so I'll tell you what, I'm going to let Ian's team go first, oh, and it's Rory to give the lose. Oh, you like going first. Go, right. quick, go, Rory! Starts now. A uh, footballer, he's the best footballer in the world. Goofy, goofy lot. Ronaldinho! Yeah, very good. This is a uh, superbike champion. His um, second name, the first part of his second name is what you have on the end of your feet. Um, um, 
shoes. No, no, you know those little things that stick out, Eric Bristol? James Tozer. James Tozer. Oh, very good. James, yes, James Tozer. If Charlton got his second name, is the same as... Kylie? Minogue. I just said Kylie. Yeah, yeah, the first name Dean, correct? Yeah. Dean Kylie. American <laughs> yachtsman. First name Chaplin. Have you got any Chaplin on you? Chaplin? <laughs> Chaplin. That's not... Silent, right. silent. Oh, Charlie. Yeah, thank you. Um, and if you were... He's a yachtsman, and if you were... If you saw a tree and thought... Oh, if you saw a plant... And it's too late now, you've said it. If, no, if you saw a plant bigger than a... Plant. No, that's right. Charlie Tree. And you thought, oh, I like that plant. Woof. Look at that tree. Look at the bark on that tree. Oh, I like it. If you look, to look at lecherously at a tree, you'd oh, be... Oni. Oni tree. No, not Oni tree. But you know when, when blokes look at you in that sort of... Susie, you must have... Hard on. You know... <laughs> Charlie, Charlie Hard on tree? Charlie Hard on. You know when you sort of men look at women... Charles in, in, in Stiffy. Sort of, Charles Stiffy. When you look Ogle. At, thank you. Ogle Charlie Ogle. Ogle. Tree. Char okay. Ogle That'll tree. do. I'll give you that one. Right. Same name as the, our dear Queen. Elizabeth. But shorter than that. Liz. 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 And shouting a lot. Shouting is... Loud. You know when you want to look up something <laughs> in the phone book and you go to the something... Page, yellow page. Yeah, but shorter than... Yeah. Yellow. Yellow. Yes. yes. Oh, yellow. Well, I've got it. I've got it. <laughs> right. so, same, same name as Flintoff. Fred, Freddie. Fred, 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 Fred. Andrew. Uh, no, Fred. 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 So, so when, you, when you want to have a problem with something, you go to the Citizens... Advice. Bureau. Advice Bureau. Citizens Advice Bureau. Fred. Citizens Advice Bureau. That'll do. No, 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 no. <laughs> Team, you need six points to win. It's Jonathan to give the clues. And your time starts now. OK, uh, she's a tennis player, Swiss. Uh, second name sounds like the thing you have on doors. Hingis. Hingis. First name? Martina. OK, uh, he's an American golfer. All right, it's like soul, but it's dirtier, OK? Uh, Tiger Woods. No, well, what's dirty about Tiger? <laughs> soul. It's not punk, but it sounds a bit like punk, and it's a different sort of soul music. It's harder hitting. All right, first name is the same as Flintoff's nickname. Uh, Freddie. Fred. Fred. And the second Funk. name, Fred Funk. Fred well Funk. done, OK. Fred Funk. Right. 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 A German tennis player. First name was uh, something the great. You know, you go, look, there he's riding. He, 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 Alexander. 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 Second name is we call it fizzy drinks, they call it, Americans call it soda. Water. Pop. So pop. Pop, Alexander, Alexander Pop. Pop. Thank Alexander you. Pop, right. yes. You don't know cricketer. He's not a cricketer. Second name is, if you saw a forest and the it. trees were not made of gold, but they were made of another Silver precious stone. Silver water. Silver water. Thank Silver you. Sorry, what's his name? Uh, okay, this is an Austrian goalkeeper, I think. Wait, uh, Rudy. Sunita sang a song. You are so... Wait, macho. Macho. First name? Peter Macho. No, not Peter, Peter Macho. <laughs> German called Peter Macho. If you use a lot of technical phrases, I say, don't give me all that technical junk. No, but it's a jargon. Jargon. Jargon, oh. jargon Macho. Thank you very much. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Ian. Sorry, Ian. OK, let's have a look at the final scores. I mean, Boris's team has 14 points, but this week's winner, Ian's team... <laughs> My name's Lee Mack, that's the last in this series of They Think It's All Over. Goodbye. Right. Yeah! A special compilation of the best ever They Think It's All Over, part of the comedy lineup this Friday at 9.30 on BBC One. And with his movie hat on, Jonathan Ross previews the latest big screen blockbuster King Kong. That's next. <laughs>